I skated to your cow this morning out of this building out there. It's jumped a hell of a height. Couple hours work to do at the Sunflowers. Pure radio. It's half eight, Sunflowers are open an hour and a half, so those numbers don't add up. But... Here we go. How tall am I? Told you I was six foot. And we are open. We got all the jobs done. Right, dunks on the discs here. Discs are making a better job than usual because we've renewed the discs and a lot more meat on them now. Because a vision softly creeping left its seats while I was. Kev's drilling, so we're putting OSR in here. The discs on the front of that are probably needing replaced as well, but anyway, seems to be going all right. I'm not going to try and find seed because it's near impossible. OSR seeds are tiny. This field's got a really big hollow in it, so they started there just while well, the conditions are good. Get that out of the road. Just along with Dad dropping off some more seeds for Kev. We need to go and there was a cow escape this morning. I didn't show you that, but she's in the wrong field right now. We need to go and move her. We're gonna take some gates out to this cow because well there's no yard to kind of guide her with and there's no bales out that we had the other day so we need to get a hold of her. The livestock trailer's at Sunflowers right now so it got cleaned out and put up there as a bit of a cover for the staff members who are working there. So we're gonna get her into gates, maybe put the crush out and try and get her in a halter and then just tie her to the forklift and walk her around to the shed. If she won't do it by hand which I don't think she will. Right, we've got her in. We're gonna go for a bit of an unconventional method and just lift the crush with her in it and just gradually take her around to the shed rather than putting a halter on her and then getting her tied up to the forklift and shimming her around the yard to be a lot harder. Gradually work our way around with her in the crush. Fingers crossed, wish us luck. It's a bit unconventional, but it's working. She's wanting to get the grass, she's wanting a nibble. She's quite content there, I think she's enjoying her ride. Up a wee bit. Gets a bit more bumpy now in the yard, so just need to take her time here. Hey beast. This is the cow that uh, has a wee bit of liver issues. We got her dung sampled and she's got fluke, so we've given her a fluke aside and treated her for that. So basically it makes her light sensitive, so photosynthesization happens, where her skin is more susceptible to sunlight and UV, so she's got a burnt nose, that's why it looks all horrible. But she's been inside for the last three, four days, she's definitely turned the corner and looking a lot better, but she decided to escape this morning. Right, she's in again. Flipping heck. The only way she escaped, nothing has changed, so she must have jumped over there. Which is a fair leap. That'll be four and a half foot. It's a good jump. That was rather successful. Never done that before. Another job done. The um, sprayer tank is currently on its side. Where it's at before is where it's going to be sheds. Um, it needed to move. Right, I'm going to get this quad bike sorted out for slug pellets on that OSR field that Duncan Kever currently sowing. Dad's head along there with the rollers. He's gonna roll the field. I'll sort out slug pellets. We'll get our field finished today and then we'll shift up. Tomorrow it's to be pretty mixed, but then it might be clear for the next three, four days. So we might hang fire tomorrow and not do anything because I think it might be raining all day. This boy loves to come and roll low. He just dives with his engines off and fires them up again the way he goes. He's away for a U-turn, he's coming back. I'm not the biggest fan I think it's the same plane that does it all the time because I'm really low. It winds up the hens. If there's loud bangs, 
loud noises that the hens hear the same day and the next day the eggs they're laying drops you see it immediately so that plane when it runs really low and then turns the engines on it scares the hens right slug pellet machines back here we'll get this mounted up it could do with a bit of a wash so i'll bolt it on and then get a quick blast just to clean it off it's just on with two j bolts that piece of angle iron j bolt goes up through there hooks onto the frame and the quad dunk must have made the mount for it so easy just hooks on there through that hole bolt on the top one two jobs are good and then you just run these wires into this 12 volt connector there's two spades in there one two spade lines up a one two spade and then there's a shutter opener that one and then turn the spinner on and off hopper up the top spinner there shutter just above it Right, I've got us wired up, so that's spinner on. You can hear it. And then that's the shutter up here. Yep, not going anywhere. Speed first, safety last. We're off. I tried to avoid getting water in the hopper here just when I was washing it. I think they're made up of effectively pasta with the chemical fer ferric phosphate in them. Right, we're off to the races. Dunk's disking, Kev's sewing, Dad's away over there rolling. I'm putting down slug pellets here. It's ideal conditions right now, so we'll get this field finished. Dad should get it finished rolled tonight. I'll get these slug pellets on. We just generally do the end rig and the chuck bits of ground. So what I mean by chuck is hard and firm and not as favorable ground. So the big hollow in here, I'll do all of that and I'll do around the end rig. The end rig is because that's kind of where the slug pressure is. They're in there right now. I want to give them food in the field in the form of seed. But we're the way in, so if we can keep the end rig clear, they don't cross that boundary and get into the bulk of the field. That's the theory. You might be saying this ground's not been worked yet, why am I spreading them? Well, you can put the slug pellets down with seed as well, so it does the same thing. I'll spread them, dunk will disc it, Kev will go over it with a one pass drill and it'll work it and the slug pellets will not be far away. Just about done, I'm not spreading right now, I've got one little chuck bit to do. Done the whole end done the hollow. This is said hollow. There's dad up there. Well, last wee slither and then onto the end rig, so another couple of hours in this field will be done. Drill seems to be going fine word from Kev anyway so no news is good news right just gonna nip back to the yard with this I took a couple bags with me but I didn't need them get rid of them empty my basket and there's a few stones kicking about and I'll get to them quicker with this and just nip off and shift them that'll get dad moving a wee bit quicker right just had a phone call there is a lorry here to pick up seed Right, we'll get this strapped down, get home. Normally, when a lorry is coming, the phone. When they're an hour away, two hours away, half an hour away. I'll be there in half an hour while I get loaded. This guy did, <laughs> didn't phone, so he's going to have to wait for half an hour till I get home. Right, that's that job done. Go and get this lorry loaded with seed. Tardis winter barley. The stuff we were combining a couple of weeks ago, week and a half? Yeah, two weeks ago. One lorry waiting for seed. Spotless. Especially with seed, you need to check that. 
This is the sea deep here. Sea cliff lorry. They're generally pretty good. They've been coming in here a fair lot of years. They've been drifting seed for dogs for quite a fair number of years. Here we go, passport, crop tight, winter, barley, variety, Tardis. Loading date, 4th of Aug, harvest year, 23, no post-harvest treatment. Signed, I'm not going to show you that, Crawford. That is my first name, by the way, quite a lot of people don't think that. Position, when I was younger I didn't know what that meant, and I put boss, now I know it is grower. And probably shouldn't do it in pencil, but anyway. Done, that's one lorry, the first lorry away, so hopefully they should all go, it's Friday today, I think the rest of them all go Monday, Tuesday, and then that pile will be gone, because obviously they need to treat um, the barley and send it out to be sown again, so it's a quick turnaround for them. Getting a lot of questions about update on Defender. There it is, still where I left it, still broken. That is where a pile of lime once was. So there was lime, three loads delivered just the last week, and the lime guy today came and spread it all as well as some at yard four. This is yard two, so I had a bit done here and then a bit done on the road at yard four. A question I get all the time, how is Wonky doing? Well, there is Wonky the calf and mother doing wonderfully. You could not tell. Wonky is doing brilliantly. Obviously, it doesn't want to be near me right now. Wonky is, I've just searched up uh, Wonky is exactly five months old today. Hey, mother. But he's a lovely lad. His face doesn't, his face is all kind of okay now. His left eye does still sit slightly below his right. And his jaw, his jaw was squint, but I think that's squared up quite well. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> pay attention, pay attention. No, 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 no. You get back in there. Thank you. Anyway, yes, Wonky is doing fine. Come on! We're in like sardines. Looking well, lot of those calves. It's a wet one today at the sunflowers. Um, it's not torrential, it's just a bit soggy, so just telling people to bring their umbrellas and maybe bring their boots. The path's holding up actually fairly well. Hopefully after today, it's not to be very wet after that. So and if it survives today, then it'll be, it'll be golden. Another lorry in for Tardis barley, some seed barley. He's kind of shuggled himself into... I've not seen a lorry there in a while. It's not meant to be there. It's a bit tight for him. 90% of the time, I have no idea what the f*** I'm talking about. Please like the video and subscribe. A million likes and I'll reveal Gate Lady.